what's up guys welcome back today we have a fun suspension install on ryan's first gen tacoma so we're going to just kind of go over how he bought the truck uh and what uh specific suspension components he bought and he bought it from where'd you buy it from again uh it's wheelers off-road wheelers off-road um and it's a custom kit it's old man emo which we'll is we'll just go over here and look at the uh all the components he's got here so i'll just let, let you go ahead and tell us what we got uh so for the fronts uh well all four corners are the uh the nitro charger shocks uh, i got the 882 springs for the front um you're able to order them assembled so you don't have to deal with you no know, spring compressions or anything which will be nice for the install yes um for the rears we did uh the like you said the old man emu springs uh the leaf springs it does have the uh, the Dakar add a leaf uh, because I do plan on adding quite a bit of weight back here. Um, the the kit comes with hopefully everything that uh, we should need. Um, comes with all of our U bolts, uh, greaseable shackles, uh, extended rear brake line. Uh, it has the uh, relocation kit for the exhaust hanger, which we aren't going to use because I'm just going to cut it anyway. Um, it's got all the hardware with we, uh, that you're going to need, all the bushings. Uh, I did get, um, half inch spacers for the front to, uh, be able to level it out, uh, with the extended studs. So that when they're long enough after we add the, uh, half inch spacers. Uh, we also, I also did get, uh, front and rear two bumpers from Trail Pro. Uh, well, there. I'm going to walk over there in a sec and show you. We're getting those prepped for paint. Uh, but that's kind of the gist of the uh, the kit here. Like you said, it was all kind of custom assembled. This isn't something that you would just buy from, old, well, maybe you can buy from ARB, but... You could piece it together yourself. Okay. Wheelers pieced it all together for you, so you can just one-click. Yeah, so, so he took the time and, you know... Um, he got a good deal on the, this truck itself, which we'll go around in just a sec. So he's, he's, he's able to basically, you know, piece together a really good kit where he didn't have to Frankenstein a bunch of parts and kind of guess about spring rates and all that. Uh, but we'll go over to the bumpers in a sec, but before that, we'll kind of just do a little walk around of the truck. Uh, it's sitting really low. This truck has, how many miles does it have on it, Ryan? Let's check the odometer. 392 and change. 392 and change. Uh, almost 392 391 611 yeah so it's got some miles on it but you know it's a toyota so it doesn't matter but you can just tell from the the way it sits you know it's 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 seen a lot of miles the you can see the leafs here are almost the shackles are almost inverted if you look at the back not almost but i mean they're uh they could invert is what i mean um but yeah you know they're they're definitely sagged so we're gonna do a uh, measurement from center hub to, to fender to see what the true lift will end up being at the end. But yeah, she's ready for uh she's ready to, you know, have a little perk up. Um, other than that, everything's stock standard in the engine. The engine runs great. We went out and uh, basically just jumped it. The owner didn't know about its, uh, you know, the engine um, status, but uh, it's running well. And, you know, we'll just get the lift kit on it and see how it goes. And but, I was gonna say, and you can't beat the price because I actually got it for free. For free, twenty free ninety nine. Well, actually, there's a little caveat. We're gonna help the owner install a uh, lift kit on her. What is it? A I think it's this a second gen. I think yeah, Tacoma. Second or third right there. It's a pre runner, but um, yeah, we're gonna help install a lift kit on that for her uh, as payment for this. We'll get all those new wheels and tires. Yeah, new wheels and tires. He's gonna do thirty threes, I think, for now. We're gonna actually maybe test fit my three fifteens on his just to see about rubbing and you know we're not going to articulate it but we'll just kind of get an idea but we'll go take a look at the bumpers now all right so here's our front and rear bumpers i'll let ryan take the uh reins on this so here we got the rear bumper uh so they're both from trail pro um this is just the standard there's no options on this bumper it just comes exactly like this um i i like it more so because it has the wraparounds and they have other options, but they don't have this uh, kind of tailgate step on them. A lot of them are just that flush, more bobbed bed look, and I wanted to have the step. So, uh, I don't know, this one, I think uh, they had them there pretty cheap. I want to say it was right around 500 bucks. 
Uh, and that's so. pretty good for the, the bumper game, even for Toyotas. So everything's already, you know, nice MIG welded and ready to go. There's no welding required. So yeah, that's the rear bumper. And it also has that uh, receiver here. So you can still retain your, your factory tow hitch. And then over here. Yeah, the, the front bumper. So here's where they had a, quite a few different options that they could do. Um, so you can get this uh, completely plated. Um, you can get it with and without the, the front stinger. Uh, and there's a lot of different options that they offer this bumper in. Um, I wanted to keep it semi-lightweight, so I went without the plates. I did want the stinger on there um, just for added recovery points if we, you know, depending on what we get into. Absolutely. It does come with the really nice um, thick recovery points, so we can put D-rings on the fronts if we do want. Uh, it has the uh, the uh, brackets here and stands, so you can we can mount a winch on there, which will be happening sooner, probably rather than later. Mm -hmm. Granted, when I go out, I can just use his. So. True. Yeah, I have mine now. So yeah, it looks like it's got some nice tabs here for you know a DB aerial antenna, or you know light most bar. likely light bar. Yeah, uh, LED light uh, rounds or whatever. So everything's you know looks really nice. You know this is come comes with a little bit of protective oil on it. So we're gonna get some brake clean and just go ahead and uh, get all that off before we add some self-etching primer. And he decided on the bed liner that I was using on the roof racks because it's just really good material and relatively cheap. And if you hit it, hit something out on the trail, then you can go ahead and just uh, spray a little bit more on and call it a day. So we're gonna get to painting and we'll see you soon. All right, so we've got the rear, rear leaf and rear shock taken out. Uh, we also took out the bumper and the spare tire carrier from under below, made sure to not drag any of the wiring around the wiring loom for the tail lights and the towing tow receiver all right so we're just cutting off the exhaust here we might fabricate something up later but for now we're just going to go ahead and cut it off here just so we have clearance for the uh, leaf kit And then Ryan's over here. We've got both all primered up and he's just working on the bed liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on the rear suspension. Hey, today's day two. We weren't able to finish it yesterday. To be honest, we were biting off a little bit more than we could chew with all the products we had to do to the Tacoma. I'm sure some of you can probably get all that done, you know, and have a little more experience than we do, but uh, we don't. Anyways, so we're just a couple of DIYers in a gravel driveway, and it's our first time doing it. Nonetheless, kind of show you what we're doing. We've got both the bumpers painted, primed and painted. Yeah, we have the bumpers painted, and the rear bumper's taken off already, I showed you that. So we got the rear suspension installed last night. And to be honest, you know, I really like the look of it this way. I don't know what you guys think. I think you should just keep it like that. Maybe get some drag radials, you know, head down to the strip. He didn't really show the same enthusiasm for that idea. Uh, so yeah, under here, we've got the leaf springs, the shackle, greasable shackles. Uh, yeah, the nitro charger shocks. Uh, we did the brake low or what is it the the brake proportioning valve relocation kit and i'm working on getting this off the the fitting for the brake line i know i shouldn't have cut it like that but it was just kind of twisting and i couldn't get it figured out so um yeah we cut the exhaust here so pretty much the only thing that's left now is to take the front bumper off and pretty much just bolt up the front and rear bumpers and then of course we got to do the front shocks um yeah because that's looking pretty sad so i'm gonna get started it is day two i gotta get this finished today because he actually took my corolla to work so i gotta get my corolla back all right so we got the driver's side strut in and 
took a little trial and error. Um, it was easy to get it out. Uh, I just used a punch. They were a little seized, the old strut up here. So I just kind of banged it a little bit on the side just to get some of the corrosion off. And then, you guys probably already know this by now, but uh, I ended up, I, I couldn't, I was pushing down with all my, my weight on the, um, just this whole knuckle assembly to try and get this bolt hole to line up. Or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the, to, to just put the bolt through here. And it was just, I was having to try and push this while pushing down on this. It wasn't working that well. So I, you know, just realized that I should have taken a couple components apart. So I tried the sway bar and that really didn't give me any play. Then I tried the tie rod and that didn't give me much play. And then I was like, oh, duh, like this is going to give me the most play up here. So I took the ball joint off. Um, they're a little difficult to get off and I got this tool from Amazon and the idea is great. Unfortunately, it's like this cup here is like the size for like a Honda maybe or something really small. So I even took an angle grinder to it to just try to get a little bit more clearance because it just was gonna just push it out. Uh, that didn't even work. So I ended up just banging on it and that usually works from my experience. So anyways, uh, that bolt is in, which is the most difficult one we're secured up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, tighten up the rest of the components and then start on the other side. So I might have actually been, maybe I was right on the other side, but what I found is that even with trying to do this on the passenger side now, the upper ball joint, even though I got that free, I was having a lot of trouble getting this to line up again and not having much play in this lower control arm. So I just undid this top link for the sway bar to sway bar end link. And between these two, I'm able to get enough play here to where I can just manually maneuver it as you can see and I think I was having an issue with on any of these like tie rods tie rods ball joints or end links is that you can get to a point where if you smashed the nut on the end you can maybe bugger up the threads to where it requires too much torque to re-thread it or to get it back on the the thread because it's not clean so there's a little collar on some of them some of them are kind of harder to get to but i just used a pair of small uh vice grips and held it on the other side and that's allowing me to get it tight enough to where there's not going to be any play to where it makes noise or any clanking Technically the whole lift kit is on, everything's tightened down. This is what we're looking at. It probably won't come through on camera a whole lot, but there is a good amount of rake, unfortunately. They included these half inch uh, leveling, like a leveling kit spacers for the front struts. Unfortunately, uh, and they gave us the extended uh, strut studs. Uh, but unfortunately, these coilovers are pre-pressed they already had like the stock you know or just the regular um studs on there and they didn't press them in which i thought was kind of weird if you include them in the kit and i mean we could have gone through the hassle of trying to do that but i didn't want to have to get a spring compressor and deal with all all of that so it's going to have a little bit of rake keep in mind that it will settle uh but you know that's how it stands so I didn't take the measurements, unfortunately, from before. It was sitting really low. Center hub to fender is at about 27 inches. And then the fronts are going to be right at around 25 inches. Um, basically, this is the All Pro, I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put it up here somewhere. All Pro, Baja, blah, blah, blah. It's a winch bumper. Something worth noting is that if you have a, I guess, 96 or 95 to 2002, you're gonna have to do a little bit more work. We got really lucky, he has an 03. Basically, to take off the bumper, all we've done, there ends up being these brackets here, okay? So these are gonna go up into where the air box is, and there's a little bushing here. Unfortunately, these were seized and I couldn't get them out, so I just angle grinded 
a portion of them away. Anyways, there'll be a bolt here on the outside. And then there's also two bolts on the inside. You can see that one down there and on the inside. And they're kind of hard to get because there's a wire loom in the way. Something like that. Yeah, like that. So there's two bolts here. I think they're 14s. You're gonna need 14, 12, and 10 uh, for this. I mean, some, I think a 17, 19. The big thing to note, if you have the 95 to 02 or, or 2000, I think, is that this frame rail is going to stick out three inches longer than you need it. You're gonna to have to measure from here three inches out and square it up make sure that it's perfect i don't have that truck so i can't tell what's going to be there there's a welded nut that you need to install this bumper you can't you and they'll give you all those instructions unfortunately you have a lot more work to do and then they give you they gave him because they probably weren't sure the hardware this is all the hardware we need for this kit for an 03 they gave the hardware for an 02 as well probably because they weren't sure but what you'll need to do first of all you have to have access to a welder or be able to weld access to a welder duh. and uh, these plates are going to end up getting welded into here to to basically act as what this already has on it on an 03 so we got lucky and didn't have to do that luckily um, so you take off your skid plate which is basically some faster well I should probably start from the beginning this is going to be on there uh, initially and you're gonna have two bolts I forget where they were, I think up here. And then you have, or I'm sorry, four bolts, two in here, two in here. You'll need an extension to get in there. And then you're gonna need, where are they? Okay, they're on the skid plate. They're on the skid plate here. So you're gonna have to, you can see that's a pretty deep section there. So I used a, a, like a four inch extension for my half inch. Uh, impact driver and that got that out of there so when you're done with that obviously that comes off you've got some undercarriage um, fasteners for the skid plate which attaches to the i guess that's the what is that the pan cover and then you have two bolts under here so the kit that we have comes with 10 fasteners lock nuts and washers so luckily pretty much my work is done here i'll go ahead and you know flip you to when it's all installed but these two are going to be the ones that go on the bottom here. Sorry, here. And then this one is gonna be going through this hole right here. There's also two more side fasteners, side holes, and those go into this bracket right here, which have welded nuts on the back side. Another thing you're gonna end up having to do is trim this fender guard, um, the plastic fender guard right here on both sides. And I just took some scissors, did a very rudimentary cut. I'll probably trim that up so it looks nice and you, you're not able to see it. All right, so I've just used, if you're doing this by yourself, you can just use a, uh, a jack with whatever, a block of wood to kind of mock it up. And as I'm getting in closer and ready to trying to mount it, I've noticed that what they refer to it in the manual as the arrow points. So these are going to not fit um, with the bumper. So I'm going to take an angle grinder and just grind away all the way up being careful not to uh, Mess with the welded nut because we'll need that All right, so you can see there's my cut there where I did the angle grinder. I did it just Just to the welded nut there. It's kind of hard to see uh, Just so I'll have enough clearance. They do give you a little bit of spacing here so you can maneuver it around They're not lined up just yet on that side but this side, I can almost start to get my bolts and uh, washers and lock nuts in. And then I can just maneuver it a little bit with the jack, so. All right, so it is all the way on. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good, eh? Got nice side protection, those hoops. Nice stinger. So he's planning on getting a Harbor Freight $300 special. And we'll mount that later. That's going to most likely require taking this back off again. But it is on. So the washers they included in the kit aren't quite uh, lo large enough of a diameter. This one's the cleanest out of all of them, really. A couple of these just aren't really lining up, so they're already going in the hole there. Um, but anyways, to, like, I, like I was showing, I used the jack to kind of get it up. This is the bolt I put on first and snugged it up because the bumper was kind of like leaning like this so it helped it kind of push in like that 
Uh, so the 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 order that I went is these two first, and then I ended up doing this one because that kind of when it was sloping like what was it like this it kind of brought it up so that all the holes would line up. So I went this one first, then this one, and then this one, and then I used the bottle jack on both sides in order to kind of just you know line everything up. Like I said, I'll take these off one by one and get some good grade eight uh, washers that are a little, there's not much room to work with on some of this next to the, the welds, but uh, just something a little bit larger in diameter. But uh, yeah, all in all, really easy install if you have the 03 on up Tacoma. Uh, if you have that 95 to 02, you're gonna have to do some cutting and welding, but uh, yeah, it's a good looking, good looking bumper. All right, so uh, we're all finished. Um, we just actually, I just uh, put a new radiator in because the last one had a hole. So we're just burping the system of air, uh, put new coolant in obviously. And we've just kind of put uh, the license plate and the turn signals on zip ties for now until he figures out exactly how he wants to mount those. And then this is the same company, All Pro tube wraparound bumper. And it's got the integrated hitch, obviously, so you can still tow or like he's using as a recovery point. And sorry for the exposure. Uh, yeah, you just got two, it's hard to see, two bolts up here, which are just part of your factory um, drop down uh, bracket for your factory uh, towing cross member. But yeah, it looks really good. Uh, definitely happy with the way it come out, came out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or anything, just post it down in the comments below. Um, I'm usually pretty quick about getting back to people for comments. So if, you have, if there's anything I missed on the install, feel free to ask. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.